If you're like me, airports are very special places. Since I was a child, I've had a certain reverence for them. Often I'll go to one just to walk around. I love being near the airplanes. In some ways, though, what's even better than an airport is an air museum. So I thought to open this tape, I'd bring you to the Kansas Air Museum on the side of the old Wichita Airport right next to McConnell Air Force Base and Boeing Aircraft. This is the air capital of the world. A while back I was talking with my friend Dwayne Life. We were discussing how he got involved in aviation and he was reminiscing about his youth and something that he really missed that he called hangar flying or hangar talk with the older aviators. You see, he learned a lot from listening to their mistakes and triumphs, things that they related to him that he couldn't have learned any other way than the school of hard knocks. So I thought about it, and since I'm in the video business, I realized that what I could do is go around and have hangar talks with different individuals who have something to share with us, their experiences or their knowledge in the ultralight and microlight area, and I could bring them to you through the medium of videotape. And that's what we've done. Here's Hangar Talk, tips, tricks, and techniques. The art of flying is not only a skill, it is a base of knowledge, and as such, it is an ever-changing thing. It began as our ancestors marveled at the ability of birds to traverse the air. They would watch the airborne creatures in flight soaring high above. If they could capture or kill a bird, they would examine it to learn its secrets. But before men actually took to the air, they had long since gone there in their minds, myths, and legends, on the wings of their imagination. And such it is with all great accomplishments of men. Where our minds can go, our bodies will follow. Imagination and analysis, the twin pillars of progress. Aviation, probably more than any other human endeavor, represents this process. Men first dreamed about flying, then they invented and built the flying machines to get them in the air. So it is by knowledge that we fly, and to that end I present you this video. You are going to spend some valuable hangar time with some friends of mine who all have a demonstrated knowledge of various aspects of the art of flying. Some of them are technicians, some are craftsmen, and some are primarily pilots. Each of them has at least 10 years of flying under his belt, and some have much, much more than that. They all have some aviation wisdom to pass on to you. I know you will enjoy what they offer, and I hope you learn something that will make your flying experience more safe, more interesting, and more fun. Now it's time for some hangar talk. See if you can pick up some tips, tricks, and techniques. I traveled to Colorado Springs, the home of the United States Air Force Academy, to meet with Ed Wilson of LEAF, or Leading Edge Airfoils.